Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, the podcast where we unpack the timeless wisdom of the book of Proverbs, one bite-sized nugget at a time. Join us daily as we journey through this ancient treasure trove of insight, offering practical wisdom for modern living. Get ready to start your day with clarity, purpose, and a deeper understanding of life's greatest lessons. This is Wisdom for the Day, your daily dose of Proverbs wisdom. Today is day 125. We're in the 12th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 5 and 6. The plans of the godly are just. The advice of the wicked is treacherous. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly save lives. A good man does not plot evil plans. His plans respect God. The good man tries to help other people by his plans. For example, somebody might open a shop that sells food. If the shopkeeper is a good person and he wants to sell good food at a fair price, then he's going to. But an evil shopkeeper might want to sell poor food at an expensive price. The second part of this verse is about advice. You can't trust an evil man's advice. When he's advising you, he's plotting an evil plan, and you don't know that plan. The evil man's not going to give you good advice. His advice is a lie. He wants to cheat you. In verse 6, the evil man is like a hunter. His plans are like a hunter's trap. They want to steal from other people, maybe even want to kill them. A simple person is in danger. If he doesn't know about a hunter's trap, that person could fall into that trap. The good man is safe. He speaks the right words, and these words are better than the evil man's plans. The good man's words will protect him. Now, you probably wouldn't label a student as evil or wicked just because they cheated on a test. But technically, they did break the whole thou shalt not steal thing from the commandments nowadays it seems like it's it's no big deal about cheating being wrong but more and more it's about not getting caught now if we think about it most students would agree that cheating is kind of shady according to proverbs that puts cheaters in the wicked category Now, I recently heard about a senior in high school who's not going to be graduating because they got cheating on an essay. And get this, it wasn't the first time. This student had been caught twice before and warned that a third time would mean that he would flunk. Yet they still turned in somebody else's work from a previous year. Name and all. Not a very smart one. It's pretty clear that that student doesn't have much of a moral compass. But despite that, their wickedness means that they won't be moving on to graduation. So let me ask you. I've heard that plenty of people cheat on their taxes. But even if it's just under $100, does that count as wicked? Well, that's all for today. But I'll be back tomorrow with some more of Solomon's wise teaching. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. If you like this show, please tell someone about it and share it with them. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. Intro music by Weston McCurry. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.